It's, it's all right. Did you just like go side a bit? Because it's just Can like... you just do it? Can you do it? <laughs> I think the fun part is um, how much time you spend with, with people. You can kind of pick your own adventure as a student. And that, I think, is pretty unique about Proctor, that we have these small settings where we really get to know individuals. So a dorm parent is kind of the, uh, the parent uh, while the kids are on campus. You can literally go knock at the, their door and be like, I'm struggling with this. And that's something that I really value in the school. Then as the years go on, if I'm working with ninth graders in my dorm, I get to see them grow up on campus and teach them in class um, and get to see just how much they grow from a little 14 year old who's wide eyed and kind of like trying to navigate this boarding school world for the first time to being uh, an 18 year old who's ready to go on to the next adventure. It's like a family and the kids, sometimes we have kids who stay in the dorm for a couple of years and you watch them grow. It's really special. <laughs> Our dorm structure, having the smaller dorms, is just another iteration of viewing faculty members as not a classroom construct, but as human beings and um, highly relational human beings. We choose to be in dorms here at Proctor because we want to be with students outside the classroom in the sports field. I have a lot of kids that are different ages, gender identities, um, different walks of life all in one space and they just all sitting around my dining room table as like happy of a time it was. It was also a little bittersweet because we were all just talking about how much we were going to miss each other this winter. Yeah, it's a pretty special feeling. Proctor faculty are committed to raising children and helping them understand community and what it means to live in a community and be a community member. Yeah, plus you're always doing like cool activities together like there's trips out to McDonald's and stuff. And, and we're decorating the dorms for Christmas. We went paintballing with the whole dorm. I think it's kind of moments like those that just make dorm life really fun. It's hard, it is hard to describe because because I don't know how it happened. We just kind of all became like one big group of friends going to five guys, uh, hanging out in the van, playing music, talking. Uh, watching each other's sporting events, you know, showing support for each other. It's like a family, you know? Yeah, so we're an old married couple. We have three beautiful children. Uh, no. One grandchild on the way. And six cats. As soon as Georgia texted me and we just started texting before we came here, like all of my nerves went away about like who I was going to be Aww. living with. All of like the four year seniors or three year seniors were very much like supportive. They're just like there to guide us. <gasps> Here's someone in our dorm right now. Oh, Lucy. Oh, she's going to our interview. Oh, yeah, I did. Wait, wait, ready? We'll <laughs> share. We'll share. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> this is our Sally B buddy, buddy upstairs. <laughs> We're just so connected. We are like dorm nose where everybody is. Yes. Like. There's like a bunch of little pods. So you kind of have like a bunch of little friend groups. Yeah. And, but then you also have like the bigger the big, group. But yeah. it's not clicky. Yeah. yeah, I love you guys. Yeah, I love you Amazing in many ways. It's just hard to wrap my head around like what Proctor would be like if I didn't have like the dorm life or the sleeping over here. We have a dorm meeting every Sunday, and since we're getting close to the holidays, we had a little gingerbread competition. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, I would say boarding is probably the best decision I've made, like in my life. <laughs>